About 25 years ago, I was playing guitar and singing in a band over on the west side of Phoenix, and I remember coming off stage for a break, and I met this guy, and he, he was cool. He was, you know, he's, he was kind of in the business. He'd been around for a while, probably 20 years older than me, and we, we were talking on break, and, and, you know, we really hit it off, and towards the end of my 20-minute break, I was getting ready to go back on stage, and he said, you know, Michael, if I, can I give you one just small piece of advice, and, you know, don't take it the wrong way. I just want you to, I, I just want to tell you something. I said, sure, sure. He said, Hey, you know, you're you you're talented, you guys are good and and all that. He goes, "But you know what, man? Get a real career." <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, see ya." And I went back up on stage and I think at the whole night I didn't even think about what I was playing. I did, I was in a haze. Cuz you know, I was kind of indignant and I was a little bit, you know, put off by that. But I thought about it over the weekend and the following week and you know, it was an epiphany for me. And it began a long journey, really, into transitioning from one career into another, which became obviously much more rewarding and fulfilling and profitable for me. Uh, It wasn't soon after that that I kind of traded in my studio engineering and, and cabling and mixing boards and racks of limiters and compressors and all that stuff for working as a networking technician for a large, now defunct telecommunications company. Well, why do I say that? You know, you might be here because you want a real career, (laughs) or maybe you want another career or a a new career. Maybe you're just curious about Juniper's operating system, Junos. Whatever your reason, whatever your goal, I want to help you get there as quickly and effectively as possible. When I discovered that CBT Nuggets was going to do Juniper training, I was so pumped, man. I was so excited. Uh, I got exposed to Juniper about five years ago when I was doing consulting at a large healthcare company uh, over on the East Coast. And I wasn't consulting for networking, but they were a Juniper shop. And so I got to spend about a week with these guys. And man, I was so impressed. And and I'm a Cisco person. You know, I have CCNP, CCNP security. I've been doing Cisco since the early 90s. And but I was just blown away. And so I just say, you know, Juniper, yes, okay? I cannot wait to turn you on to this incredible operating system and this platform. Now, my approach to this is going to be a scenario-based approach, and we're going to do some role-playing, and that's going to help us get from point A to point B as quickly and effectively as possible. Let me just show you real quick the gear that we're going to be working with, not just in this Nugget series, but as we progress into the Juniper Enterprise certifications, then hopefully I'll have you in the Juniper Security certifications uh, in the upcoming months. This is my rack in my home office of Juniper and Cisco equipment. We're going to be working in this nugget on primarily these three devices right here. Let me show you what those are. It's the Juniper EX2200 switch. It's the Juniper J2320 router and it's the J2350 router. Now what we're gonna find out is that all three of these devices do switching and routing, okay? We don't really have pure layer two and layer three devices anymore, and we're gonna find that out. Now these devices have obviously a bunch of modular components that are shoved into these slots here. Mine don't have that yet, but as we progress through this Juniper training and onward, we'll start to add those components and we'll do that together. Now, as we look at my rack here, what you notice is a lot of Cisco equipment too. I've got, you know, Cisco switches and and multi-layer switches and routers. There's a IPS sensor, a couple of ASA firewalls, actually another firewall here, a 5505. And what's interesting is as we move forward through Juniper, and this is a very real world scenario, we're going to be transitioning our Cisco equipment, migrating into Juniper, okay? I'll just put Junos. And actually what we're going to be dealing with here in our scenario is we're going to have a Junos core or enterprise LAN network and then going out towards the internet edge we have our Cisco equipment. So this is a perfect example of what we're going to be doing in a lot of environments where we're going to be extending our Junos core out to the enterprise edge and replacing our Cisco equipment with Junos equipment. That's what I'll be doing over the upcoming months. And in this process, we'll learn about migrating from one platform to the other. We'll learn about distributing one 
set of routing information into other routing information, importing and exporting routing information, distributing from, let's say, EIGRP into OSPF, okay? Now, I'm getting ahead of myself because we've got a lot of fundamentals to cover in this JNCIA series. But that's the gear we're working with. Let's get back to the drawing board. By the way, my name is Michael Shannon, and I've been training for CBT Nuggets since 2003, and I, maybe I assume that you've already taken some training with me, but you know what? This might be your first Nugget series or your first Nugget series with me. So I want to officially welcome you and tell you how excited I am. I just can't wait to share this information with you. Now, we're all you know, fired up about Juniper. We see the gear. Let's talk about the scenario that we're going to be based, basing this entire Nugget series on. And here's the deal. And listen carefully. You're going to be playing a big role in this, obviously. Now, we are, I have a friend. Now, this is, again, hypothetical, but I have a friend at a manufacturing firm called Nugget Lab. And she's been there for quite a while. And they actually transitioned a lot of their network from Cisco to Juniper. But she's moving on to another opportunity where she's going to get paid more money and have more responsibility on higher end gear. So she called me up and she said, you know what, I, I need somebody fast who can come in and replace me. Now we have Juniper, it's, this is not a big company, it's just a small to medium sized business. And we've got Juniper at the core of our network and we've got Cisco out at the internet edge. And I really need somebody who can come in here and take over the Juniper part of it, okay? I've got a technician, a Cisco CCNP, who deals with the Cisco internet part. So I need somebody, and I need somebody fast. Now, next week is a vacation, it's a holiday, so really I need them to come in in about 10 days. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get you ramped up, okay, in about 10 days to go in and take over for this friend of mine. This is a huge opportunity for you, okay? So we gotta move fast. Now, like I said, not a big company, but it's still an enterprise. Remember, enterprise doesn't mean, you know, you've got hundreds and thousands of routers. An enterprise just simply means that you are in control of your equipment. It's customer premises equipment. It's your enterprise. And so we know that you can do it. We just have to get you ramped up with the Junos operating system and configuring and maintaining routers and switches so you can walk in in about 10 days and take over. Now that's our scenario, okay? And I realize this, you might be here taking this Juniper Nugget series, you already know Cisco really well, and you just wanna go through here and find out, you know, what are the differences between Cisco and Juniper? Well, let me tell you, that's not gonna be our main focus here, okay? This is Juniper training, and I will from time to time point out some of the differences, and I'm very flexible. As I go, I may actually create a individual nugget that just talks about for 30, 40 minutes, the differences between Cisco and Juniper, but that's not my approach here, okay? This is basically preparing you for the JN0101 exam and the JNCIA certification and following with our real world scenario, getting you ramped up and ready to go in about 10 days to walk into this organization and manage this small business data center or core network. That's our goal, okay? Now, what's the plan of attack? Let me begin by saying that this is my outline. This is what I put together. And over the next few weeks, I'll be producing these, you know, one at a time with this overall scenario vision in mind that we're working through to go into this Nugget Lab manufacturing firm and operate their Juniper Core network. However, I reserve the right to change my mind along the way. I want you to know that because if I feel like I need to add an extra nugget here or I need to go in a different direction, I'm going to do that and I'll explain why. Okay. Now you might be asking, where did I get, and th this is not the only, there's more than this. Okay. This is only the first half of our outline. You might be asking, where did I come up with this? Okay. Well, it's a combination of three things. It's first of all, what I believe to be real world information that you need to be successful immediately. Number two, it comes from the exam, okay? When you take the exam and you walk out of there and you've passed, they have several domains that they show you the percentages of what you got right in those different domains. And so it's also based on those domains of the exam, exactly. Also, Juniper's website, they publish their key objectives for the JNCIA. It's a combination of those published objectives it's my experience on the exam, of course, passing the exam and the domains of the exam and 
passing on my real world knowledge to you okay so what we're doing right now is basically we're in the introduction okay that's what we're talking about now we're getting the, getting our feet wet we're getting fired up we're getting motivated we're getting ready to go because we're gonna move pretty quickly all right now one thing about this JNCIA certification and this exam is they kind of add to this some what we call network plus type information CompTIA's Network Plus, something you might see maybe in a CCNA, you know, Jeremy Chiara's ICND1. They kind of they kind of take you from the very beginning, like you don't know anything about networking, okay? There's, there's actually, you know, questions that are about layer two and layer three of the OSI model and learning how to do IP subnetting. So there's a lot of just networking basics here. But rather than starting out and going, you know what? I'm going to talk about the architecture and we're going to, you know, do IP subnetting and talk about the OSI models. You know what? No way. That's not what I would do for you anyway if you were getting ready to go and take this job in 10 days. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we're going to hit the ground running. We're going to get started with the J-Series router and the EX-Series switch. In other words, what would you do when you walk in that door the first day on the job and you've you know, signed your paperwork and you've met everybody and they sit you down at your desk, what is the first thing you're gonna do? Okay, you're gonna get started. And so that's the approach we're gonna take. So we're gonna dive right in dive right into Junos and then we'll actually look at some very practical interface configuration options then we'll take some sidebars okay so the lecture type stuff that you have to know I mean you know building that foundation of networking I'm going to approach that I'm going to space that out through this series and we'll, we'll hit on it as a sidebar so we'll get into the architecture and the software fundamentals about five nuggets in right so you'll need a break from the interface and configuration and we'll talk about architecture and software fundamentals then we'll jump right back in and do configuration basics and I don't mean just basics I mean we'll do some we'll cover a wide variety of basic and intermediate Junos configuration. Next, we'll take another sidebar and we'll break out on some of the networking essentials, the OSI layer two essentials and layer three exam essentials. I'm gonna focus on what you need to know for the exam and a little bit extra thrown in there. Now, let me just tell you this. I, I want to highly suggest to you that for your kind of basic networking knowledge, and if you have very little of that, and you're using this Juniper series as kind of your introduction into networking, I want to suggest to you that you go to CBT Nuggets and do this. You might want to consider getting some, you know, a few extra hours of training from CBT Nuggets and going up here, and I would, I would give you, recommend three different things to build that networking foundation. If you go to the CompTIA link here under our IT training, there's the Network Plus training. And in Network Plus, which is a series that I did, you get common networking protocols and three nuggets on IP addressing. Now, this routing concepts, you don't need to go that far. We're gonna cover that from a Junos perspective in my series here. But there's several nuggets here on just basic networking protocols and three nuggets on IP addressing, also talking about layer two MAC addressing. So you might wanna check those out. You can also go up and go to the Cisco area here. I know, I know, Cisco, Cisco, but listen, in the ICND1, okay, Jeremy Chiara goes in here and starts out, you know, what is a network living in the OSI world? And then here he does some a nugget on addressing fundamentals, okay, and TCP and UDP. So he's got four or five excellent, not very long nuggets to build that network foundation. That's another great option. A third option is under the Microsoft Windows area, and if you go in here and take a look at the network infrastructure, James Conrad is going to take you and give you three nuggets on IP addressing, custom subnetting, and variable length subnet masking or supernetting. So you've got some great resources to build the foundation for networking because we're not, we don't have the time to do that in this JNCIA series, okay? So if you need to build that foundation, maybe, you know, look into getting maybe some 24, 74 hours of extra access and go and build that foundation. And you've got plenty of time because we're not going to get into the layer two exam essentials and layer three exam essentials until, until about nugget eight or nine. And we won't get into routing fundamentals or routing policy until later, 
right? So you've got time to build that while I'm showing you.